Hello, I'm Mark from Excel Off The Grid. Now macros give us a really powerful way to automate Excel. They enable us to interact not just with Excel, but other Office applications. Unfortunately, hackers know this too, which means that they might try and use macro enabled files to distribute malware onto our PC or even into our organization's network. Microsoft are aware of this and they're changing the default behavior for any files containing macros that have been downloaded from the internet. So if you're using Windows, anytime you download a file from the internet, it gets what's known as the mark of the web. Now this is an attribute attached to the file so that the operating system knows that this file has been downloaded from the internet. What will happen going forwards is that if you have a macro enabled workbook that also contains this mark of the web, it will be blocked by default. Initially, Microsoft are starting out with users on the beta channel, so on the insiders group. But eventually, once they're happy with it, I'm sure it will be rolling out to other PCs and other versions soon. Currently, this impacts Excel, Access, Word, PowerPoint, and Visio. So let's go check out what this will mean. Well, here I have a file that I have downloaded from the internet, and it contains a macro. I'm going to double click to open up this workbook. So we now get this red bar at the top that says security risk. Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted. If we click learn more, it brings up this web page, which tells us about the changes, what's happened, but then also brings us down to if you are happy with your workbook, what can you do to unblock it? Now you can still interact with this workbook. So you can still type things into cells. You can still run other aspects, but the macros are the things that have been blocked. So let me close this workbook and I'll show you how we unblock this workbook so we can open it with macros running. So all we do is right click on the file and go down to properties. And from the properties window, we can select unblock from there we can click apply and then okay now if I open up that same workbook you'll see that all we have is the security warning message to say that macros have been disabled from there I can enable content and now I can run my macro now this won't impact all workbooks it will only impact those workbooks that have been downloaded from the web and once you've enabled and trusted those workbooks, that same message shouldn't appear unless you happen to move or rename that file. Now it's worth saying that any files that we save in our trusted locations will not be checked for this mark of the web and will be enabled to run straight away. So how can we check our trusted locations? So we can go to file, down to options, Go to the trust center and trust center settings and then trusted locations and in here you can see a list of the locations which are deemed to be trusted locations so if you save any macro enabled workbooks into these locations or if you add a new location then that workbook will not be blocked now you might ask about add-ins well add-ins should behave in the same way as they had before for the last few years, we've had to unblock add-ins before we can use them and install them. So that hasn't changed with this change in macro security. If you haven't got this feature that blocks macros where the file contains the mark of the web, i.e. where it's downloaded from the internet, then it will be coming to a PC near you soon. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe like and comment. Also, if you want to learn how to automate Excel, then check out my training program over at excelofthegrid.com forward slash academy. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.